morning. You are watching Mocha in the morning. I'm officially Jorge, and I'm so happy that I get to bring you a bold roast where we go out there and we highlight and bring to the forefront and bring to you those movers and shakers that we call Mocha Marvels doing the thing. And this week, I am so happy to welcome, for the very first time on the show, Miss Valtrenda. Hey, girl. You're all, I'm I'm trying. Trying to. That's awesome. <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, uh -huh. congratulations. Thank you. Um, this is going to be your fourth yeah. book, yeah. okay? And uh, Valtrenda and I, we go back a hot way minute. Back. Way, way and back. And all the residue is off of you, yeah. girl. Isn't that wonderful? I know. So, so it's been really, really exciting to kind of watch your career blossom. Yeah. Thank you know, you. Uh, when you came out with your first book and then everything you've done since then. So catch us up okay. really quick on what you've been up to, girl. So I did um, I, my, my second degree in mm -hmm. psychology um, since then. And since then, I've also been able to host the Urban Cafe, the wow, radio show. Wow, I know. I see you got into that. I actually got onto three radio shows wow. since then. So I was all the way in Africa at one point. Burr. Not me physically. They didn't take me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the show was all airing all the way in Africa. Um, and then I'm um, also doing a lot of individual counseling sessions now mm -hmm. because my degree is in counseling. Right. And so um, since then, I've been doing a lot of, uh, I launched that part of my business because I own my own business. But that part, the the one on one crisis counseling, yeah. has been the most intimate for me. Wow. So everything else, hosting gigs, I have hosted the Black Heritage Festival here in Tampa Bay for the last four years. Wow. Four years, the Saturday uh, musical show. I've introduced Stokely from Mint Condition. Hey. Uh, Cece Peniston. I love oh, Cece. Yeah. 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 So, Pageant queen. Right. And you know, a, a lot of other stars. It's just been amazing since That's awesome. since the book since my first book. So many doors have opened. That's awesome. It's always great to see because when you come in, into connection, mm -hmm. you know, with people like you, it's always great to see like what happens, mm -hmm. you know, when they get that that taste and that fever for the flavor yeah. of like, you know, pursuing this type of career. And I still don't feel like impact. I've done enough. I feel, I feel like I haven't even done nearly a quarter of what I want to do. Well, let's talk about what you did do again. I know, right? Let's talk about these seven gems that are glowing yes. up. Okay, first of all, this title, mm -hmm. like, it's all, it's the thing right now. Yeah. With the glow up and whatever. Exactly. So, what led you into this new book? So, self-care. The book is mainly about self-care. It takes a mental health approach to self-care. And so, the, the gem is, you know, somebody said, man, you just dropped a gem. It's like mm. you just dropped some very valuable information. Right. And then glow up. I talk about in the book about how when I first heard that term, glow up, it was a before and after picture. And it was like, man, the glow up is real. And I'm like, glow up? Hmm. So it takes two different meanings for me. Okay. It's the shine. You right, like mm -hmm. the glow, and then the grow up process. So since the like the before and after picture was a younger picture and an older picture, and then it, it's just like at one point I was this person, but now wow. And do you go back and say like wow, like this is where I started, and then my journey? Because sometimes this journey is rough. Yeah, it's not very easy. Because, it's rough, especially <laughs> in this business where like you really are putting yourself out there, yeah. sharing a lot, yeah. of especially yourself. for me. Um, it's very scary at times because people know my business and I'm like, I don't know you, <laughs> but you know, I personally, there are a few tips and tabs about my personal life and how I personally handle each gym. Right. Um, but it's really more of research and a lot of psychological research about how we really should take care of ourselves. Okay, and the, there are a few things that I saw in here, mm -hmm. and I really love that you were able to pull some quotes mm -hmm. from some super amazing yeah. people, yeah. and uh, one of them, which is Tina Turner, Tina which we Turner all love, favorite. and I love this, and tell me, I wanna know why you use it, and I'll tell everyone what it is. Sometimes you gotta let everything go, purge yourself. You will find that when you're free, your true creativity, your true self comes out. Right. Whoa. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a very, I right, just get like. Right. So that, and that quote again came from Tina Turner, one of my favorite rock, she's a freaking rock star. I love her and I love imitating her. So how her. do you do that? How do you so find in the courage? My, in my first book, I talk about the residue of marriage and divorce mm -hmm. and how I had to really let go of so many 
heartbreaks and disappointments and all of those ne- all that negativity right mm-hmm. so in letting go of that process I really discovered who I was as a person wow yeah so letting go of the old stuff essentially gets you to that glow up now when people see me wow wow you know wow you look so different and so it's because I have journeyed through myself right for myself so that I can now be available for others. And it's not necessarily just all in the physical, right? No. Because when you when you notice a change in people, it's it usually for me, it's mm-hmm. like, okay, there's a whole new different kind of aura and energy. Yeah. And usually um, that also comes out in the amount of work that mm-hmm. they're doing. And mm-hmm. especially in this industry, mm-hmm. you know, the more events you go to, the more bookings that you get. Yeah. And it just seems like, wow, like you're on like this, you know, like, yeah. this, like this upswing, yeah. something's different. Yeah. So basically, you glowed up. I did. <laughs> I glowed up. Earth. I glowed up for real. All okay, right. This is what is another. I want to another gem. Okay. You know, and this is from, of course, you know, our one of our favorites, Maya Angelou. That's and right. these things are just so deep, but they inspire. Okay. So, it's one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself to forgive, forgive everybody. And can I just say? That doesn't speak to me. Yeah. It screams yeah. and hollers at me because I will say that's one of my hardest. I still deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, I, how do you everybody. deal with that? I mean, how do you take that and use it and help yourself glow up? Forgiveness is a process. Mm-hmm. We have to stop the stigma of thinking, I forgive you. The statement instantly forgives a person. It doesn't work like that. It's a process. And essentially, we, and once you realize that forgiveness is really for you, mm-hmm. then the process becomes easier. It becomes lighter. The work becomes less heavy um, because you're doing that work for you. The forgiveness, I talk about that in, my, in the chapter self-detox, about detoxing. Oof. About Ooh. detoxing from people, about detoxing from a lot of gunk that we have that sometimes goes back to our childhood. Mm. And it and it's not just people. Sometimes we hold ourselves back because we can't forgive ourselves for a decision that we made. Sometimes it's a marriage. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's some it's simple as school. Yeah. I had a really, really I wanted to be an actress and a singer. Hey. When I grew up, right? Right. And I got pregnant. And so I held myself back because I was so hard on myself because of now I love my son and I'm glad he's here. But I had, I was like, man, I really screwed up and I didn't forgive myself for a long time. Wow. And didn't realize that until I went through that self detoxing process. Right. And then to find out that you are deserving. Yeah. And that, you know, sometimes, a, you know, what you may have not thought was a good decision. Right. Okay. Once that decision is made, that's it. You have to move on. Yeah. And then maybe the next decision will be better. Yeah. And we and when it comes down to other people, they made a bad decision. Right. And unfortunately, you were the result of that. Or right. you were, were... impacted by it. Right. You were impacted by yeah. their bad decision. Right. And so even though they may not have forgiven themselves, because you don't know what that other person is going right. through. Yeah. Whoever, whatever situation yeah. has done anything to you yeah that's their decision that's theirs right the they breakup the marriage right. divorce the mm. school whatever I was like, what you gonna do for right you right now right all right so with this book comes a, a, a journal yes right and so so this goes together and yes. so as I'm reading the book so this is so that everyone can kind of take their own little notes mm-hmm. and you know their journey start yeah. documenting their journey so I'm really big on journaling uh-huh. my first book developed and was birthed out of my journal wow okay um i journal a lot i write down everything one because i can't hardly remember anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> but two journaling is so therapeutic and yeah. i talk about self-communicate as one of the gems in this book and how we um sometimes when we were younger weren't really taught proper communication tools Ooh. effective yeah. communication we right. all know how to communicate right but is it effective yes so we can learn how to effectively communicate with ourselves through journaling. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so uh, where can we get this book? So you can go to my website. Mm-hmm. My website is valtrunda.net. You can get the journal, the book. You can get all, all my that. other, all my other process, all my other um, 
products Wonderful. from my website, Veltrenda.net. So they can start from book one all the way to this new book yes. with the journal and all that. And yes. also, it will be at the Portico, uh, so if you're at the Portico Cafe, we will oh, also have copies for you to purchase. Yeah. And, all that good stuff. and after this interview airs and you see it, if you want a book, make a comment on our Facebook page and I'll make sure that you get one. Yay! Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm so happy for you and I so appreciate it. excited. I've watched your journey. Yeah. And uh, it's just really fun to see everyone glow up. Thank you. I can't talk <laughs> about anything that I haven't been through. You know what I mean? I've been through it. I yeah. walked I took the journey myself. Mm -hmm. So and, and it's how we take care of ourselves that ultimately makes us glow up, you know, and turns us into the person we really want to be. So that we can be there for other people. There you go. And we'll be right back after this.